All right, pogues and kooks alike, it's time to grab your surfboards and dust off those treasure maps, because Outer Banks is back for season 4. Yep, the treasure hunt is far from over and let me tell you the stakes are higher, the drama's thicker, and the waves are wilder than ever. If you thought the last three seasons were intense, brace yourselves, because this one's split into two parts, the first part already streaming and the second dropping on November 7th. Mark your calendars, cause you don't wanna miss what's next. First up, let's dive into that new trailer, which hit the shores straight out of the Pogolandia fan event. It's set to Us Against the World by Jungle, a fitting anthem for this band of misfits as they face down a world of enemies, betrayal and gold-chasing madness. In classic Pogue style, John B. says it best in the trailer, all of us, we made a home. Now it's all on the line. The question is, what would we risk to protect it? And let's be real, the answer for the Pogues is everything. Check it out if you haven't already, it's giving us chills and major hype for part two. Hashtag 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 episode breakdown, let's get into it. So, if you're anything like me, you probably love poring over episode titles for clues about what's coming next. Here's the lineup for all 10 episodes this season, and I'm already deep in theories. 1. The Enduro. 2. Blackbeard. 3. The Lupin Corsairs. 4. The Swell. Femme Albatros. 6. The Town Council. 7. Mothers and Fathers. 8. Decision Day. 9. The Storm. 10. The Blue Crown. Each title hints at a twist in the story, especially that Blackbeard episode, could that be our first dive into the infamous pirate's treasure? And the storm? You just know it's going to be a wild ride. With the last episode being the Blue Crown, I'm getting serious endgame vibes here. We might just see the Pogas ultimate face off with their past, their enemies, and maybe even each other. Hashtag 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 what's season 4 all about? Picking up after that explosive season 3 finale, season 4 finds our Pogas 18 months down the line, trying and failing, to live the normal life they built for themselves in OBX. Now they're running their very own Pogolandia 2.0, complete with a bait tackle and charter tour shop. Honestly, it sounds like the ultimate summer gig until, surprise surprise, their finances start tanking and Wes Genret reappears with a new offer that none of them can resist. A hunt for Blackbeard's legendary gold. Yep, the Pogues are pulled right back into the action. But it's not just about the treasure anymore. This season digs deep into each character's identity and the friendships that have kept them together through every danger and betrayal. The Pogues are facing new enemies, and not just the physical ones. The pressure to protect their home, their family, and even their identities is immense. You're going to see John B., Sarah, JJ, Pope, Kiera, and Cleo at their rawest, questioning who they are and what they're willing to risk to keep each other safe. Hashtag 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 the cast, who's back and who's new? Of course, our core Pogues, Chase Stokes as John B., Madeline Klein as Sarah, Rudy Panko as JJ, Madison Bailey as Kiera, Jonathan Davis as Pope, and Carlacia Grant as Cleo are all back. But get ready to meet some new faces bringing some serious spice to the mix. J. Anthony Crane as Chandler Groff, dark, mysterious, and grieving, he's here to shake things up with the Pogues. Pollyanna McIntosh as Dahlia, Think revolutionary leader meets Batty on a mission, she's a force to be reckoned with. Brianna Brown as Hollis Robinson, the island's top realtor who has a thing for Rafe and a taste for high-stakes business deals. Rigo Sanchez as Leitner, with serious pirate energy he's here to test the Pogues resolve. Mia Shalas as Ruthie, a wild card with a close connection to Topper. Watch out, drama ahead. This cast lineup is giving me major anticipation vibes. Each new character brings unique challenges and intensifies the Pogue versus Kook conflict, not to mention adding fuel to the already high-octane dynamics in the group. Hashtag 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 the Kildare County Surf Shop, Pogolandia goes public. And here's a fun twist, we're getting an actual, fully functional Pogue run surf shop in the OBX this season. It's such a fun touch, right? The cast even dropped three hilarious commercials directed by Jonathan Davis, showing off this new surf shop, with everything you'd expect from a pogue paradise, fresh fruit, surfboards, bait and tackle and of course, Cleo's ghost pepper gumbo challenge. Imagine hitting up JJ's deep sea charters or customizing a surfboard with key. It's a total pogue dream come true. Davis had a blast filming these commercials, saying that working with friends who knew each other's comedic styles made it easy to shoot all three in a day. 
It's moments like these that remind us of the real friendships behind the camera, making every scene feel all the more authentic. Hashtag 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 when's it all dropping? The wait is almost over. Part 1 hit Netflix on October 10th, but if you've already binged it, guilty. Part 2 drops November 7th. This fall is the perfect time to re-watch the entire series, not just to get hyped for part two but to catch every little hint and easter egg that might be pointing us to Blackbeard's gold. So all you wannabe pogas out there what are you waiting for? Settle in for the epic adventure that is Outer Banks season 4. And remember it's P4L pogas for life.